going back to the Pittsburgh days, right, and being a first round pick, mm -hmm. right, um, and the expectations and the, you know, I wouldn't even say pressure, but just like what people expect and how they want you to play or expect to play, you know, some would say from a fan perspective that like you left more meat on the bone, right? Mm -hmm. Or like maybe he didn't live up to whatever expectations, but it doesn't even matter about their expectations, mm -hmm. about what you think about yourself. How were you able to just, you know, be the player you wanted to be while dealing with like the outside pressures of being a first rounder? Like, do you feel like you left meat on the bone? Like, how'd you feel about that whole situation? I mean, I think every year, uh, I progressed, yeah. and that was my main goal every year. Uh, regardless if I had, I, I'm just throwing out random numbers. If I had ten tackles my rookie year, mm -hmm. my goal was to have 15 tackles next year. Mm. Yeah, and I did that. If I had one interception or no interceptions or one PBU, I wanted to have two or four PBUs, and I did that. So it was like every year I felt like I progressed. Um, the numbers they show it, and I think just. I wouldn't say more meat on the bone. Of course, you always hold yourself to a high standard. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you just constantly chasing greatness. Yeah. And we, you've been with Coach Tomlin. For sure. We constantly chasing greatness. Yep. And it's something that we will never achieve. Ever. But we're constantly chasing it over and over and over again. And we'll never achieve it. And that's just what makes us competitors. That will make us the top 1% of the world because we're constantly chasing something that we'll never get. And you're constantly going to keep on working for something that you can never actually achieve. But at the same time, those small steps that you've taken, you got to love that, 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 that process, I would say. So I'm, I'm enjoying the process, getting to my main goal. That's definitely yeah. something Tom, Coach Tomlin used to preach, like the process and stuff like yeah, that. You, you got to love the process. You got to love the gotcha. process. And that's, I think that's still what I'm in today. Like I, I'm not the exact player I want to be. I'm not, I've been a great player, of course. I've been a good player. But I want to be like, you know what I mean, top of the top. But I'm enjoying this process because as long as I'm taking steps forward, I feel like, boom, just because I want $100 but I made 50 already, I started at zero. So right. at least I got halfway there. So now I got to keep on grinding until I get to 100. Mm -hmm. So it's like you got to enjoy that process because if you're still worried about you only made $50 but you've been looking for 100, come on now. Yeah, yeah. You made 50. Right. You got to see it half full. See the yeah. glass half full. Keep on working. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to get it to 75, and then you're eventually going to get to 100. And now what you're going to do when you get to 100? Make that make that jump 150. <laughs> right. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Oh, oh, for real. For real. What you going to do? You're going to keep on adding it up. It's like once you get to that peak, because a lot of people reach their peak, and then what? Yeah. you just going to stop working? Right. Like when y'all y'all want to be the best podcast ever. Number one. When y'all get to number one, what y'all gonna do? All right, we made it to number one. Now we gonna stop. Never. We gonna go even harder. Come on, yeah, nah. never, like, never. Like, that's, I think that's everybody's mindset. Like, you reaching a goal, but you constantly chasing something that you'll never technically reach. You can get there, but you just gotta keep on grinding because the next person doing the same thing you doing, and they looking for the same type of outcome as you so i think that's, that's and i think and i think like you're someone you know um if you want to take ownership of your health try ag1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin d along with five free ag1 travel packs with your first purchase go to ag1.com slash second win again that's ag1.com slash second win you know all the people that we have on the show you guys are all so similar it's like getting better like you guys are competing with yourself i don't think that's what people yeah. you know understand about like high level people whether you're an athlete or not whether you're a high level sports reporter high level athlete like they're constantly competing with themselves to be the best version of themselves yeah. and like you said they're chasing something that you'll never fully have yeah you know what i'm saying so like you said i've gotten better i've gotten better every year throughout my five years when you're with the steelers mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like that's all you can ask for mm -hmm. so like i was telling you it don't matter from the outside perspective as long as you know i got better yeah that's all that, that's all that 100 percent. because you can never i don't think you're ever going make everyone accept you anyway. Yeah. If you do a poll out of 100 people, 75% of the people going to say one thing, the other 25 going to say something else. Like, everybody not going to be on the same page. We in America at the end of the day. Right. Yeah, everybody not going to think the same thing. But it's like, as long as you proving to yourself, like you write your own goal. I'm a big on writing my own goals and putting that stuff on paper. Visualizing. And put, yeah, visualizing it like that. So once I put it on paper, once I reach them goals, now I can keep on going because I don't even really divvy into all the stuff that other people might say because at the end of the day, 
some of their stuff be unrealistic. I remember my rookie year, I was looking at it. Somebody told me, I want you to have 10 picks, oh, uh, man. 150 tackles. <laughs> they want you to be a Hall what? of Famer. Some Madden year shit. One. What? They want you to be on some Madden some... creative player. I'm like, bro, <laughs> I'm looking at it. I start laughing because I'm like, bro, you said 10 picks, 150 tackles. Who did that? <laughs> Who? Show me. Who did that? Right. And I'm like, that's unrealistic. Like, you just saying stuff just because it sounds good. Mm -hmm. But, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, as long as you feel comfortable in yourself, you just got to keep on grinding and keep on um, pressuring yourself to go to the next level.